God damn. Okay, you know what? Screw this game. I hate it. Stupid. Stupid game. Stupid game. <sighs> yeah, I made that game. Yeah. Way back over a year ago. Well, this video is about making stuff that you want to make. Recently, I made a video called Make the Perfect Project. And, well, it did pretty well. But it also made me realize that there's a lot that goes into planning a project, but more importantly, you just want to make something that you want to make. I, I can tell you right now that even though Happy Golf, which is again, the video I made over a year ago, which I got to turn, I got to turn the music down. It's going to drive me crazy, which is kind of the point. I made this game because I really wanted to try making a video game. And uh, honestly, nobody's played this game as far as I know. I don't actually know many stats on itch.io, but um, which I'll have a link in the description to this game if you want to play a game that will potentially make you break your monitor. I'm not paying for your monitor if you do though. You've been warned. I made this game because I wanted to try out Unity. I wanted to try making games and honestly making a platformer where you lose all your progress if you fall off. Uh, I think is a lot of fun as a creator, as somebody who makes makes videos, because boy, is it fun to watch people raging when they play games. Um, like, like, check this out. It can be pretty funny. <laughs> so uh, because it's good content, I wanted to make a game. And ideally, I'd like some people to play it. This, In this case, Happy Golf, my first attempt at making it, uh, didn't work out too well. Um, I mean, the game works. The game loop works. and uh, But, you know, nobody's played it. But that's okay. I don't really care that much. Because I had fun making the game. I learned a lot. And to be honest, I thought I was done making games. I have worked on so many things now, and honestly, thanks to this YouTube channel, like so many different things that I never thought I would do, like adding hidden things to images or like uh, automating things, freaking making files go into separate folders as soon as they're downloaded. Like honestly, some cool stuff that I never thought I'd make. Um, I mean, we did make Snake, I guess, in Python, so I guess that's another thing. But you get the idea. I've kind of been out of this gaming mode because while I play games in my spare time, I kind of was done with making them after Happy Golf. Uh, and not just because it sucks to play. <laughs> However, some things changed recently. One thing that was in the news a little while ago was about Unity and how Unity kind of made a weird decision around pricing They've since retracted some of it, but to be honest, I think a lot of the damage they did was was a little done uh, for a lot of people. And I'm not really a game developer, so I was like, well, that's weird. That kind of sucks. But hey, like, you know, if there's competition for developers, then that's usually a good thing, right? Competition breeds creativity. That's what people always say. I remember that one. Good job, Jake. So why am I talking about games? Because... I think one of the most important things you can do, kind of going back to the idea of, of uh, how you can plan a project and making your perfect project, you want to make a project that you want to build, right? It's not just like, yeah, it would be cool if I can make this machine learning model that can like do math for me or something, right? Like, sure, that is that powerful or useful? Yeah, probably. But is it something you, like, you're really excited to sit down and start making? I don't know. If it is, that's cool. Then go for it. For me, when I get super into a project, the main way I know is because I'm always thinking about it. Like, before I go to bed, I am thinking about, huh, 
I wonder, oh, I should add this feature or mm, I wonder if I should refactor this so that this will be easier and I can do this and blah, blah, blah. When I'm at work, you know, outside of normal work things, still thinking about it at lunch, maybe watching a YouTube video about it at lunch or, or as I'm eating my breakfast because I'm wanting, I want to ingest more and learn more about, about whatever engine I'm using or something like that. Um, and then, you know, as soon as I get home, it's like, I could, I could literally get home after work and I could work until like past like, like 3am happily. And I wouldn't even know it's 3am by that point, because I would be so engrossed in making this thing. Now it doesn't have to just be a game, but in my case right now, it is a game. And the main reason <laughs> which kind of sparked this is that I have some friends at work that I introduced happy golf to. And um, I guess it's just their personality or something, but boy, oh boy, they really need to beat this game <laughs> and there's no way they're going to, cause it is really hard. So I figured, you know what, let's make happy golf two, or some other name that we'll call it, but another version of happy golf, but let's use a new gaming engine. So that's what we're doing or not specifically in this video, but this is kind of like the first reasoning why, why am I doing this? Because I think it's fun for me not to just share a cool thing you can do with code, but like, why? Why do you code? Like, why am I going to do this, right? Like, why not just like go and scroll Instagram or TikTok or I don't really use those things to be honest, but why don't I just like go and watch TV or something, right? Why instead take that time to do build and do something else? It's going to be harder than just watching TV, but once you get into it and it's something you want to do, boy, oh boy, is it fun. Like, I can't, I can't tell you enough how much fun it is. So I am remaking Happy Golf and I am using Godot this time. Wow, this UI looked terrible all of a sudden. <laughs> what a bad way to introduce this. Um, I am using Godot and Godot is uh, not really the new kid on the block, but it's, I guess, newer than Unity. And I'm in the very early stages of making something with Godot. Uh, basically, all I have is not this, because that would be even worse, is this. I have um, this here where we show some swing state. We have the name of the, the golfer, which is an, a thing I'm adding because I'm improving Happy Golf, uh, this terrible game I've made, and, and just some UI. So right now you can play this game. It will load. It Here's the ball, same ball as last time, and you can hit it. I'll probably change that so it's a little bit different, but you can hit it a lot. And and the because it's a new engine, um, the way friction works, the way gravity works, everything is new. And I'm using a different programming language called GD Script. Uh, and you know you can hit really high here, and that's really cool. Um, and if, good thing I didn't fall off because there's no ground. Um, it's just really cool. I've just had so much fun making, getting just to this stage. But honestly, I'm now at the stage where I can actually start building maps and, and expanding on levels. And I've, I've looked into how you can store things, um, like the game state, how you can store this into, into like save it so that when you reload the game, it will load it again. Um, I've just had so much fun doing it. And I think that, you know, I know this is maybe like, I'm not bragging about it, but I just think that it's important to have fun with what you make. And if you're not having fun uh, making something, maybe just take a break and try something else and see if uh, see if you have fun doing it. That's kind of all I wanted to talk about in this video. I know maybe it was just me rambling for a little bit, but I just think having fun doing what you're doing is super important. Uh, if you want me to give you a rundown of Happy Golf 2 when it is done, do let me know because I will absolutely do that. Uh, if you haven't tried out Happy Golf, I dare you to <laughs> leave a comment if you uh, like how far you get. When you play, you'll see uh, there's meters at the top right. Uh, let me know how high you get. Um, probably won't be very high. That's not a dig at you. That's just a dig at how crappy my game is. One other thing is I had mentioned in my last video how uh, I might start doing some hardware stuff. I know I seem all over the place and to be honest, I kind of am. Um, but uh, Mark Rober, who you've probably heard of if you use YouTube, uh, made these things called hack, hack packs. Uh, this is not sponsored because <laughs> 
why would it be? <laughs> um, uh, but uh, this is the first uh, hack pack, uh, which creates an IR turret. Um, I have wanted to do hardware things for a long time. I started to get into it for a while. Um, and I'm going to build this one because uh, it's a good way to get into it, I think. Um, if you would like me to review this, um, I haven't done reviews before, but if you'd like me to, um, you know, tell you whether I think it's worth it or not, uh, I can kind of do a, a little simple, some simple math on like how much all the stuff you're actually getting in this box is versus how much the box actually is. Um, let me know. And I would happily do that. Um, but I think it will probably lead to do some more hardware stuff. That's maybe not just hack packs, but also some other things. So, uh, if that's something you're interested in, uh, I did see one comment before, so shout out to you. Uh, but if that is, please drop a comment down below and, uh, we'll definitely do some of that in the future. Rambling over back to, uh, hacking away at happy golf too. Um, I hope you have a project you're just as excited about as I am about happy golf too. And if you are, let me know what it is because I would honestly love to check it out because the most exciting things to me are things that people are excited about um, just because excitement is contagious. So uh, yeah, that's it for me today uh, or this week, I guess. Uh, I hope you have a super great week and I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.